This is a short video on how to utilize the twin scan to retrieve diagnostic codes from your Harley Davidson. Of course, at this point, you should have already installed your USB driver for the twin scan and connected it to your computer. We're going to open up the twin scan software. Now, the twin scan 2 would be utilized for all of your J1850 applications, and the twin scan 3 would be utilized for all of your CAN bus applications with the six pin diagnostic connector. So again, your twin scan is plugged into the diagnostic connector of the motorcycle. The USB cable is connected to your computer. The ignition switch is on, and the stop run switch is on on the motorcycle. So in the software, we're going to go to View, View Diagnostic Trouble Codes, and select Read Codes. Now, if you've connected it proper, properly, you're going to see that it has found the ECM node, the turn signal security module, or turn signal module node, as well as the speedometer node. Then you can see it displays the ID number or part number for the ECM, as well as the current calibration code that's in the ECM. You'll notice the format of that calibration code. That would be a format that uh, you may be uh, familiar with from utilizing race tuners and TTS master tunes. But basically, if it's a number formatted similar to that, then you know that that ECM has been flashed with uh, a race tuner or TTS master tune. If it's a standard um, early Harley part number, like the five-digit dash two-digit number series, then you know you're dealing with a stock flash on the ECM. You can also see uh, that the TSSM part number is displayed as well as the calibration code and serial number. Okay, in the following section you'll see the diagnostic trouble codes. It tells you how many times, uh, how many trips since the last code was set. It tells us that there are no current diagnostic codes, which means that there are no current problems on the motorcycle. However, we were also able to ret retrieve the historic diagnostic codes. Now, not only do we provide the code, but we also provide a description of the code. And if there were any turn signal module or turn signal security module diagnostic codes, current or historic, those would be displayed there, as well as speedometer codes. If you're dealing with a bike that has anti-lock brakes and you have our ABS series of the twin scan uh, as well, then it would display any anti-lock brake codes there. Now here you have the option, of course, to print the codes. I always like to print codes to uh, give them to my customers so they can uh, verify what we've repaired. And then also uh, pull the codes a second time after repairs uh, to verify that those repairs were done and the, uh, the codes are no longer active. And then at this point, if you'd prefer to clear the codes, you can do that by clearing the codes. And we should get a verification here shortly. Okay, we got a, uh, this is, I'm glad, actually glad this has popped up. This particular motorcycle has an aftermarket speedometer on it. And occasionally with your aftermarket speedometers, even though they are plug and play, you may get a similar error message to this. Um, if that is the case and it's an aftermarket speedometer, then you can just click OK uh, because it produces no, produced no codes anyway. If it was a factory speedometer, uh, you wouldn't see that error message. So once you've cleared the codes, you can hit exit and turn off the motorcycle. 